Uh, greetings, everybody. Listen, here's an intro to the uh, actual uh, thing. Somebody just sent this to me. They said, type in any three numbers. Into, go to Google. Go to Google. Type in any three numbers and then space and then type in new cases. And a bunch of stories will come up um, about the uh, co uh, corona thing. And I thought, hmm, this sounds kind of fishy. So I typed in 666 space new cases into Google. And sure enough, stories come up. Don't, don't use the same numbers I used. Pick any three random numbers. Doesn't matter. Check it out. All right. Uh, new video coming after this. All right, everybody. I'm wondering if they're going to blame everything on white people. I mean, after all, you know, white people were the Christians for the most part, built the churches, printed the Bibles. Uh, be easy to blame us. They claim that uh, some claim that we are Esau Edom, which God hated. So, you know, they're really uh, pushing this stuff. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. The uh, Bible study is going to start now. This is uh, kind of an add-on. Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. First, let me say, I do not claim to be a prophet by any means, way, shape, or form. But this is... I don't know. Sometimes things pop into my mind. I don't know if it's overactive imagination or maybe the Lord gives me something. I don't know. Maybe the devil gives me something. I don't know. But uh, I was thinking, you know, with this uh, so-called corona thing going on, I wonder if they're going to, uh, the you-know-who's, are going to claim that it was a judgment of God. All the while, they're killing off the old people. Um, I keep hearing stories from uh, listeners, uh, fellow believers, that uh, they're taking family members, especially the elderly, locking them up, basically, and won't let the family see them. I'm like, really? And then next thing you know, they're dead. You know, oh, well, we can't let you see them. They're in, you know, quarantine them, you know. I, I don't know. But will they say that this corona thing is a judgment of God? And then there's other people. Uh, there was like six major explosions that happened all over the place uh, Beirut, Beirut was just one of them. And then there was like one in China, and then there was, I don't remember all the places, but there was like six of them in a week. I wonder if they're testing something or doing something. But I'm kind of wondering if that thing that happened in Beirut uh, was actually a tactical nuke. I don't know. I, it just, you know, I looked at it, and it's that, that was a, mushroom cloud looked to me and uh, from what I understand it wiped out half the business section of the city and I don't know but uh, now there's some people claiming that there's going to be some asteroids or whatever hitting the earth I, you know I always take that stuff with a grain of salt but what would happen if um, the tribe was to destroy some things, I don't know, tactical nuke or whatever, and then uh, they could claim it was an asteroid. Well, or meteor or whatever. You know, certain places got uh, damaged. And then um, what would they do? Well, all these things are happening because God is unhappy with us. After all, it's, it's those Christians' fault. You know, we need to implement the Noahide laws. 
You know, God gave those laws to Noah per the uh, rab by. And, um, yeah, those laws only exist in their minds. There's no Noahide laws in the Bible. Zero. Uh, somebody prove me wrong, I'll send you a hundred bucks. How's that? Show me where God gave Noah some laws. Uh, like he gave to Moses. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to be a hundred dollars. I'm going to keep that hundred dollars. I'll guarantee you because I've read the book a couple of times and I can't find it anywhere. So, um, and the Noahide laws sound good until you realize that law number one means until you interpret it by the um, rab by that says that worshiping Jesus as God is idol worship, punishable by death, and uh, method of execution beheading. Gee, where have I read that before? Oh, wait, it's in the book of Revelation. Oh, yeah, beheading. So, how did they kill John the Baptist? Beheading. So, you know, they, uh, they know what they're doing. And personally, honestly, uh, my, I think what they're going to do is uh, when, they, when they crash the economy, they're going to blame the virus. I mean, it's the virus's fault. It's not the bank's fault. I mean, you know, or, or the banksters. No, no, no. It was the virus's fault. You know, we were trying to protect you people and keep you quarantined and keep you safe because after all, you know, we care about you. So, um, but don't worry, they're going to throw all the, the political leaders uh, to the wolves. That's, ex that's their plan. They're going to blame the uh, politicians and let them pay the price. And then they're going to implement their little deal. And uh, they're going to say, you know, we've got to please the Lord, their God, not our God, their God. And they're going to blame all these bad things as judgment of God for worshiping that false Jesus thing. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is how they're going to pull it off. I mean, you know, that's just kind of how I see the pieces falling in place. You know, if you ever put together a puzzle and, and you never seen, you didn't see the picture of the puzzle but somebody gave you a puzzle and said here put this together and then you get about halfway through it and you start to get the picture you know that you didn't see beforehand when you started well that's kind of how I'm leaning but like I say you know I don't claim any divine inspiration I just know the devil's kids uh, some of their plans and looking at things and I'm telling you I'm I'm glad I went to college for business, um, took economics. It makes, uh, it's like, it's like the Lord has been preparing me for this for years. Even when I wasn't a believer, uh, it's like the Lord was preparing me for all this. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm full of crud, you know, crap, whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, but, so, what can I tell you? Oh, uh, another interesting thing on the, uh, the flood of Noah being worldwide or um, local. The Bible says, uh, matter of fact, let's take a look at it. It says that in the days of Peleg, that the earth was divided. And where do we find that? Well, that is in Genesis 10 and verse 25. And unto Eber, which was the father of the Hebrews, were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. So, 
And then in First Chronicles 1, 19, uh, And unto Eber were born two saints, sons the name of the one was Peleg because in his days the earth was divided and its brother's name was Joktan now according to some people um, you know the theory of continental drift which the continents are moving according to satellites if you can believe anything the government tells us that the earth, uh, continents are drifting apart but uh, some people believe that you know Pangea whatever that the earth was, uh, the land was one super continent. So if the earth was a single large, you know, one large continent, uh, the flood would have had to have been global. I mean, you know, and Peleg lived after the flood. So, I don't know. That's just something to look at. So, uh, everybody get ready. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And, uh, you know, when I was driving a truck in the 90s, um, it's funny, I made deliveries to these, to these closed military bases. Remember when they were closing all the military bases and they says, oh, we're going to have the military... Uh, cutback uh, bonus you know we're gonna be saving a lot of money on the on the military we don't need all these military bases so they closed them well I made deliveries to some of these closed military bases where they had uh, barbed wire fences that were facing inward now I was a clerk in the army and then I transferred to become a gate guard because I like the um, the um, the hours better I was working two days on, two days off, or something like that. Or maybe it was three days on, three days off. I, I forget exactly what it was. But um, you'd work 12-hour uh, shifts, and uh, then you'd have time off. And, you know, so I'm familiar with uh, security. And uh, inward-facing barbed wire is to keep people in not out and they had the uh, metal turnstiles for the entrances and uh, you know so <laughs> I made deliveries to these places there you know I kept wondering why are we you know these bases are closed why are they spending all this money uh, you know building them and sometimes I was not even allowed to look I had to stay in my truck when I made the delivery. They had to cut the seal, the lock. Uh, they had the key for. They opened the doors. I was not even allowed to look at what was inside the trailer that I was delivering. Sometimes. Um, I wasn't, like I say, I wasn't allowed out of the truck. What were they delivering? This base is closed. And that happened more than once. So I knew something was up even back then. Um, of course, I've been on their trail since uh, 1990. So, you know, they talk about Walmart's closing being turned into things. Now I'm hearing uh, the schools. They're, they're doing the same thing with some of the schools. So I think they're ready to, to snap the trap shut, but... So it's going to be a bumpy ride, people. Why, if, why you got some money in your pocket, if you have money in your pocket, get things that you're going to need now because I'm positive we're going to have hyperinflation. And that'll probably be just before the total collapse. And uh, yeah, because the money is going to be worthless. Like I say, I used to buy candy bars for a nickel at 7-Eleven. Candy bar now is almost, I don't know, dollar fifty, two dollars, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, and it isn't the prices of goods are going up, it's the value of the money is going down. I've heard silver is over 20 something dollars an ounce now. When Clinton was president, I was buying silver for five dollars an ounce back in the mid, early to mid 90s. 
Yeah, I had that stolen too by my uh, mother-in-law. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. I guess the Lord doesn't want me to have anything. So, not, not of this world anyways. So, just some things to keep in mind, people. Um, but, yeah, you watch. They're going to blame all this bad stuff on Christians. You know, oh, it's those Christians' fault. They're worshiping a false god. We need to re-educate them or uh, get rid of them. You watch. Mark my words. Like I say, I don't claim to be a prophet, but... It seems to uh, seems to line up. So, all right, everybody. All blessings, praise, and glory to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, Amen.